Hello and welcome back to the show. I'm Dominique Murphy, three-time Emmy award-winning television personality, and we have a special treat for you up next. We have the founders of Black Steel Investment Group, Dr. Jaime Gonzalez and also Dr. Hua Wen. So lovely to have you two here today. Thank you for having uh, us, Dominique. Glad to be here. Well, we're so excited, and I want to dive right in, because I know our audience has been looking forward to this interview. We're talking today about investment. We're talking today about financial freedom. I want to learn first your backstories, because this is going to really resonate with our audience as to why you do what you do today. So, Dr. Gonzalez, let's start with you. So we are eye doctors by trade, and we had been practicing for about 10 years um, whenever actually my wife was like, you need to think of you know, something else that we can get passive income. So I actually wanted to open up more practices and uh, she gave me the Heisman maneuver, like hand to the face and yeah, she, she didn't want any more practices. So she's like, you need to look for something different. And so we looked at a lot of investment opportunities and we invested in a lot of things and stocks, bonds, mutual funds, uh, single family, Airbnb, raw land. But that wasn't uh, was fulfilling us. Uh, passive income was not coming as readily uh, with those avenues. Um, so we started to study uh, apartment investing and apartment investing. You can scale so much faster and you can actually leverage someone uh, for their skills and their experience and their time and you don't have to do anything to actually get passive income and so that's what you know we we realized that was the vehicle and uh, that we wanted to get into so and that's what we've been doing for a while now wow and dr Wayne, <clears throat> what was your story you know we've been together now 17 years and when, my, when our daughter was born, you know, even though we're doctors and we've gotten to a point where we started having the financial aspect, we didn't have time. We didn't own our time. So we were working five, six days a week, coming home. My daughter was getting second best of us. And being a newborn, we, that was our priority. We wanted to have true quality time with our little girl. And to be able to travel the world, that's our passion, to give back and do these mission trips that we weren't able to do with that. And so that was really our big why, and not only for us, but we wanted to be able to help other families just like us who are busy professionals who don't, we're not taught investing and in different strategies and how to leverage and grow our money to really buy back true financial freedom and time freedom. And that was really our mission and why we started Black Steel Investment Group. That is so incredible. And I love that you say that we're not taught this because for anyone watching this today, it's so true. When were we ever taught in middle school or high school or even college, mm -hmm. unless you specialize in it, how to simple stuff, balance a checkbook, how to save money appropriately, how to invest money, how to use a credit card, like simple things. There are so many people who do not know how to use these items, don't know how to implement them into their mm -hmm. lives, don't even know how to create a savings account in many cases. So why is this, in your opinion, Dr. Jaime, why is this so imperative for these skill sets, for our audience, number one, to know and to learn? Why is that so important? I think the population now, they struggle with finances. And I think if you teach them what finances are and budgeting, but also how to grow their money, and they would be having a, a better life overall and spending more time with their family being you can be happier as well too so and that, that's one of the other things you know we we want to pass this information to others you know we've learned it and the least we can do is have that trickle down effect and affect other families positively and so they can actually understand you know what financial freedom is so we that that's just something that we have to do that's in in our bloodline now so sure. and dr jaime i do have a follow-up question for you based on that answer you use the term passive income dr hua i heard you use passive income as well in today's world that term unfortunately has gotten a bad name mm -hmm. because there are so many gurus if you will yes. out there who and obviously you guys don't fall into that category but there are a lot of people who are, are just out there 
claiming to be something that they're not, mm -hmm. telling people they can make millions of dollars on their laptop from Bora Bora that have zero training, mm -hmm. zero experience, and, and it's unfortunate. So let's dispel some of these myths out there right now. Mm -hmm. Can passive income really happen? And if so, how, would, how does that work? What does that look like? Passive income can really happen. And the way that we have set up our company is we purchase apartment buildings uh, with partners and they're called syndicators. So we become a syndicator. Uh, we're very experienced on what we do and we can actually, you know, a group of us actually purchase a big apartment building. And as we purchase that apartment building, the income that the apartment building makes actually gets distributed back to the investors. And by leveraging our experience and our time, we can actually allow others to get that passive income. They, they actually don't have to you know, do any work. That's the beauty of it. Mm -hmm. So they can actually get passive income either on a monthly or quarterly basis. And at the end, whenever we sell the property, they actually make even more. Uh, so it, there is, mm -hmm. but you have to be well trained. You have to be experienced and you have to know, like, and trust people. So what we do to, you know, people that want to invest is they have to get to know us first. You know, if you just can't be anyone off the street and trying to invest with us, we have to know what your goals are, what your investing goals are, um, you know, what what you want to invest in, you know. So we have one specific topic and one specific goal in mind. And, you know, it has to be a win-win for, for both parties. Dr. Jaime, Dr. Juan, do you see that? Look at the camera, do you see that? I see a bunch of people smiling right now. They're like, <laughs> okay, okay, I'm in, I'm in. So Dr. Hua, next question is for you. I have two. You talked about family. And I know that's an area that resonates with a lot of our audience because most of our audience, they're parents, mm -hmm. right? Or some of them are grandparents. They're in a situation where they want to be able to get out of the mundane life where they feel that like they're always pinching, always watching, and be able to live that life, if you will. Right. Live their best life, we've heard the term. Be able to travel when they wanna travel. Be able to go out to dinner if they just wanna go out to dinner on a Wednesday. Simple things, right? Mm -hmm. And you're saying that's very possible. So talk to the parents out there, the families out there who are saying, okay, I'm really interested. I'm now learning that there is such a thing as passive income. I just need to align with an organization such as yours. How do they then start to live that best life? You know, it's, it's really critical, Dominique, that when you want to get involved in this, it's all about education and really getting planning, right? And so for us, like even though we came out with $330,000 of student loan debt, and so a lot of people think, well, that's never going to happen for me. I'm never going to get out of the hole. And so what we focus heavily on is the education component financial literacy and educating and having a game plan to strategize. It's all about having a financial blueprint and really working the numbers and understanding and leaving money aside to have to invest in order to grow that money. And I think the more a person is educated and have somebody who is well versed in it and experienced to help guide them to be able to grow them and do that for them, it is very much possible. And some t it doesn't matter what what area or what, where are you from or what stage of financial, it's possible. To think 10 years ago, I mean, we were still in the negative, you know, and to be able to completely transform that, and it's very much possible, but it's all about knowing the numbers and knowing how to manage it, and, we're, and that's what we do. That's what we do. Our core value of our company is integrity, community, and legacy. And so we're all about relationship building. This is not a get rich, get quick scheme. So it is something that we have to get to know people, we walk them through, we handhold them, and we have to understand because this may not be a good fit for them. But we need to understand them, they need to understand, just like they need to know, like, and trust us, it's the same for us. Whoever we take on, we have to know, like, and trust them as well. Well, Dr. Hua, Dr. Jaime, thank you for your transparency. I love that. It's nice hearing the real stories that you too struggled yeah. and have mm -hmm. come out on the other side. So for anyone out there listening, who's like, well, I, I'm struggling right now. 
to people who've struggled themselves who now have come out on the other side. So how can our audience connect with the two of you? So the best is to get on our website, PassiveWealth23.com. That's the best way. And then from there, fill out a questionnaire and a form, and then we will get in touch and have a consultation. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, guys. <laughs> PassiveWealth23.com. Dr. Hua, oh, thank you. Dr. Jaime, thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for being in town, for flying in to appear on our show today. You guys are wonderful. We love you here in Tampa, so thank you so so much. Thank, thank you. you. We love you too. Oh, you thank guys you. are great. Appreciate it. We'll be right back. <laughs>